Hmm, okay. So if I combine this rod, this piece of flint, I should get a sharper edge. But will it hold up under pressure? Maybe I should reinforce it with some iron? That should add durability. Now, where did I put that iron? Ah, here it is. Oh. Oh, well, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to Craftworks. I was just going through some drafting and design for our first Tinker build. You're probably wondering what we're building and why. Well, let me give you the why. Since last time, we got to be involved with the one, the only, Zinkberg, in assisting with his newest bridge design. With a small crew of handy folks, we stripped the land of its towering trees, clearing out space for the bridge deck support, which was placed in next. Finally, the full width deck was roughed in, giving Zinc a foundation to design the bridge supports and intricate details. This, however, was where our job came in. Not only did this bridge bring us closer to our friends and neighbors, it also landed us our first Tinker build. We are tasked with designing and operating a drilling machine to tackle a new tunnel headed through the mountain at the base of the bridge. Now, where was I? Let's get back to work. Just a few more tweaks, a couple tests, and this machine should be ready for the field. Gosh, on paper, this is looking pretty good. I feel at home here, creating, drafting, tinkering. At last, I feel I have touched the surface of my abilities and my purpose. All right, time to go test this thing out. If this works, it should cut through stone like a hot knife through butter. I just need to make sure I monitor the heat levels and make sure that debris chute isn't getting clogged and not forget to install the emergency shutoff. Let's go. We are at the end of Zinkberg's bridge. I don't want to give away too much, but this is the location of where the bulldozer is going to start its job. We've got to bore through this mountain and as far as it goes. Now, candidly, I don't know how far this goes. So hopefully the bulldozer is pretty efficient. But we're going to go ahead and build a bulldozer right here on the bridge and get it powered up and send it straight on through this mountain. We've got all the resources that we need. We'll go ahead and get our schematic, place it down right here, and go ahead and use all the materials, the different coppers, the terracottas, and some of the new tough blocks. And we're going to place these down, hopefully building our first successful tinkering machine. And just like that, the main chassis of the Bordozer is officially complete. Now, it's obviously missing the one key component, and that is the drill bit and we will get right to that here momentarily but let me take you inside or around this contraption and let's give it a quick look first and foremost we have our copper gears and other bits and bobbles with our track wheels um, our grill system here to keep it nice and cool uh, we've got some guides here to tell us if we were boring in the correct direction to keep us on our five by five hole here and then we take you on inside and that's where all the circuitry is but before we head in, we have caution, authorized personnel only. That is me. I'm authorized personnel. Property of Mustache Marvels. Now, I had to come up with a quick name off the top of my head while we were... Wow, our donkey back there was rearing up getting excited. A quick name right off the top of my head, and the first thing that came to mind was a Mustache Marvels. If you have any other name suggestions for our Tinker Shop, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. And last but not least... We went ahead and put the name of the machine itself, the tunnel machine, the Bordozer. Let's head right up in here into the body of the machine. And now here's where all of our circuitry comes to live. We can turn on all the power. Like there we go. Last button here and then a quick toggle of that button and she is ready to go. But we are not ready for that just yet. So let's keep some of these things powered off real quick for the time being. Because we've got to get that drill installed right on the nose of this thing so we can get on to drilling this tunnel. I am so excited. 
uh, to see how this works. And I'm also pretty thankful for Zinc for, for trusting me with this process. So let's go ahead and get that drill in place and let's get this thing running. What is that sorcery? What is that? Oh, this is like a button. You can't trust me with buttons. Hold on. Oh my, how? Wait a minute, aren't we supposed to be above obsidian? What is, how this, what is going on here? Someone explain this to me. Goose, I need an explanation and I need, I need you to promise me that you won't hate me forever if I just poke it a little bit, just a little. Oh my good, okay. We're going to ignore this. We're going to ignore this. I wanna poke it so bad. Okay, 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 we're gonna go find something else better to do, but... Oh, it's so tempting. Okay, moving on. All right, the drill is now correctly placed onto the front of our bordozer, and it is ready to rock and roll. I think now it is time to head on inside, fire up all those gadgets, and put this thing to use. Turn on auxiliary power. Fire up the control boards. Activate the debris chute. And last but not least, the final button. Master switch on. Shut her down, shut her down. We have reached a good stopping point to go ahead and give this thing a quick review. So let's head on down out of here. We've got her backed up and let's check out what we've accumulated. Okay, it isn't the smoothest bore machine, but I'll tell you what, that, that is some good progress. Collect up all of our goodies. And now we have proven the track record, literally the tracks, record uh, that this thing is fully operation and capable of boring a smooth tunnel now it looks like we need a little more headspace so we're at, that might be a little problematic as it continues forward obviously the drill bit uh, was able to reach this from its current position without passing the chassis over the hole here so we'll see how that works as it moves on but i think i think this is mission successful i think that our first contraption is an absolute hit well, I think as the sun is beginning to rise up over the hill, we can mark this down as a successful invention and we can go ahead and let this thing go and do its thing and we'll come back in a couple days and hopefully it'll be through the other side of the mountain, uh, wherever that may be. So we'll set this thing on its course and cross our fingers. All right. Well, while we let the Bordozer do its thing, that is it for today's episode, folks. We've got a lot more exciting adventures, epic builds, and fun moments ahead so stay tuned. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss an episode. Trust me, you won't want to miss what we've got planned. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, keep crafting, stay awesome, and as always, stay beautiful. Goodbye.